colors are a huge topic in CSS, and we're just gonna scratch the surface of it a little bit. Uh, one of the things that I want you to avoid is actually what I've done so far, which is using color keywords. As you can see, I've said orange, I've said red, but like orange, like what's the orange? Is it, you know, in this case, it's sort of a, a brightish orange, but we have dark oranges and, and all the, you know, there's lots of different types of oranges out there, right? And same with red, like you could have a deep red and other versions of red. And so like, when we use a keyword, we don't really know what version of the color we're getting. We just see that we have a color coming in. And just to hammer home why this could be a little bit problematic is I'm gonna, uh, we'll keep both of those for now, but I'm gonna ch choose my body again. So we'll say body, and I'm gonna say background color, and just really fast, those are the, sort of the two main areas. There's a few other things we'll see as we keep going where there's colors that we can use, but color is the color of your text, and background color is the color of your background. And so I'm gonna say background color, and I'm gray. And we're gonna go take a look at what that looks like. It's gray, it's what you'd expect, right? Uh, I'm gonna update this now and I'm gonna write dark gray. And watch what happens when I refresh this, it gets lighter, slightly, but it's a little bit lighter. And just in case you didn't see that, let's go back to regular gray. I'm gonna hit refresh and you can see it gets a bit darker. Why is dark gray lighter than gray? It's a little bit strange, right? <laughs> and that's why uh, I'd suggest not using the color keywords because you really don't know what you're gonna be getting. So instead of that, you can either be using hex codes, HSL values, RGB values, and there's some others that you can use as well, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. The main one that I would actually suggest using for now is hex, which looks really strange, but it's generally what you get out of design software and other things. And it's probably the most common one you'll see, uh, even if it's the hardest one to look at and know exactly what color you're getting, but just like we get these little color swatches that come up in VS Code, that also happens with hex codes as well. And to highlight this, let's delete our, our these ones here and just focus on our background color on the body. And I'm gonna come in with a hex code and a hex code will always start with a hashtag. And then it's generally followed by six characters. So let's just do 6A3BFF. And you can see that comes in and VS Code is showing me what that color looks like. I'm gonna save that, refresh, and you can see that color coming in. Uh, it looks a little bit weird. It just looks like this random string of numbers and letters, and it sort of is, uh, but this is actually an RGB value. So the first two are the red value, the second two are the green value, and the FF here at the end, the last two characters are the blue value. And the way the scale works is actually, you have all the numbers from zero to nine, and then the letters go from A all the way up to F. And let's just do a really quick example. If we did all zeros, and I hit save, it's pure black. So that means we have nothing of any of the colors. We have zero of any of everything. And then if we did the opposite, FF, 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 it means we have full of everything. So that's gonna give us white instead. Uh, and then, so that means if I wanted just red, if remember the first two values are red, FF, zero, 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 would mean I have full red and then nothing of the other ones. And we can come in, refresh, and we see it there. It's a bit harsh on the eyes. And I wanna put it back to white. So white was FF, FF, FF. And I think another one, there we go. And we bring it back. Now, sometimes you might see it where you only have three letters or numbers used instead of six like this. So if I bring this down to just FFF and I hit save, it's actually still going to stay white. And the reason for that is if you put only three, it's sort of like a shorthand. So just as an example here, I could write ABC and hit save and it gives me sort of this light grayish blue color. That would be the same as having AABBCC. So if ever you're repeating the value twice for red, for the blue, or for the green, you can actually skip doing that. So we can say an A, B, C like that. So it's either three or six. Now I don't wanna to dive too deep into how hex works because in general, I don't write my own hex codes. Um, we're gonna be using color pickers often to get them or you just get them directly from the design. So don't worry too much about it. I just wanted to give a quick rundown. If you are interested down below, there is a link to a free code camp article that does dive more into hex and how it all works. So yeah, if, you, if you're if you into this type of thing, definitely go check it out. But if not, don't worry about it too much. Now in this case, we actually have a design that we're trying to create and there's specific colors that are being used. So once again, those colors are down below so you can get them uh, underneath this video. And I'm gonna do the first one here just for the title. So you, you, know, you can follow along with me on that one. And then I'm gonna encourage you to change this one and the footer on your own uh, before I go and do it. So I'm gonna remove this body one because without any body declaration on there, it will keep that white background that we have there. And the first thing I wanna do is the H1. So as a reminder, we want to select the element. So H1 is the element. 
open and close curly braces, go on a new line. And then I don't want to change the background, I just want to change the color itself. And the color I want for this one is a 4676A9. And I'm putting them all as uppercase. It tends to be how you see hex codes, but it is okay if you write them in lowercase as well. It doesn't change anything. So if I refresh that, you can see the color has switched over. Now we need to make it bigger and do other stuff with it. If you know how to do that or you remember from when I was playing around before, by all means, you can do that, but we'll cover those in other lessons as well. But I would encourage you to pause the video right now and add the correct colors to the H2 and add the background color and the text color on the footer. Now for the footer, we are able to do it by selecting the entire footer and not selecting the paragraph inside of the footer. So set both the background color and the color on the footer and not on the paragraph, just to let you know. And we'll talk more about how that works in a future lesson. So I'm going to assume that you've done both of those. So I'll walk through doing it as well. And so we'll do my H2, open and close curly brace, color. And in this time, the color is a CB. 73.1c and you can see here I did it as lowercase and it works perfectly fine and then the footer so for the footer as I mentioned we could do this directly on the paragraph but uh, we're going to put it on the footer itself and talk more about that later so then on this one I'm going to do the background color is the uh, 22466c and then my color itself is white, so FFF, FFF. And if you just put three Fs, that's perfectly fine. That will also work. I hit refresh, and all the way down there at the bottom, we can see that that's changed on over. Now, if you do want to play around with changing the color of the body's background color, change your paragraphs, other things here, by all means, play around with it a little bit. And once you're happy with how things are looking, you can head off over on into the next lesson.